Hello everyone, so today will be a tutorial for totally beginners. So everything will be explained how to create something from small amount of knowledge of a software I mean. So what we will do, we will try to create something. Great, so let's create or oh, just double click this double line in order to unpin this create option or you can go uh, to Apollo modeling and use items from here so let's start we will select the torus great we will select and create another torus uh, I will press a W key let's move it a little bit the bottom side and uh, and uh, channel editor I will select poly torus 2 and I will play a little bit with uh, values, probably 0.2, and um, yeah, maybe something like that will work. Okay, so for radius, probably I will go for a 0.8. Okay, so let's create a sphere, something like that. Awesome. Maybe we will increase the no, maybe something like that. Okay, so I will increase the bottom torus again. I will go to the area 0.9. Great, As you can see it's looking great. So, what we need to do, I will try to isolate the, the sphere in order to make a clear cut. So I will press that button. This is a button to isolate the geometry. So when you're selecting some kind of geometry and pressing that button, you can isolate and see only that, uh, let's say, um, that, that object. Great. So we need only this part. Awesome. And uh, control one, please for me. It's the uh, same button. Okay create uh, hotkeys so in general you know how to hide and to unhide the object so press it to hide it press unhide it awesome so select this one or maybe not I uh, will create another torus great press W go a little bit above let's go to the inputs area oops I will set it Point seven probably, and uh, for uh, radius point two, point one. Okay, how it will look? Let's check it out, and it will look. Uh, I don't know, but not bad, not bad. Let's see, not bad. Okay, something like that it will be cool. Maybe we can increase a bit, it's 0 0.7, 0 0.8, how it will look. Okay, probably I will stay uh, to 0.8. Okay, so we will select the bottom part, press Ctrl and D in order to duplicate it, or you can go to the edit and duplicate asset, right? So, I will align the mesh and press R in order to scale something like that, great can W hmm ok, I will scale a little bit more and it doesn't work, so I will try to bring it like that scale to that object fit our Geometry. Let's play a bit. No, <laughs> just don't want to fit, you know. Okay, so what we can do in this situation? Can just select all edge and move it down a bit. Great. So what we have in this situation right now? We have inverse normal, so let's go under the modeling, mesh, display, reverse. Awesome. Super awesome. So, 
and I want to create a little bit like a like a seat or something like that. Let, let's say deeper hole. So I will select one polygon, press Shift plus uh, left click on that loop, and as you can see, we have a loop. So in order to increase our selection, I will press Shift and dot, and we increase it. Uh, this area so I will press shift again and uh, I will extrude by moving the arrow line down okay so great we will go to the edge mode we will select one edge on our edge and we will try to smooth it by adding the bevel so we can go to uh -huh. Wait a second uh, to the edit mesh and just bevel awesome great so what we'll do next probably we need some kind of lamps in here and uh, probably we need some kind of cap to cover our um, spaceship yeah great so what we will do probably I will create one more torus I'll create the I will move it a little bit to the side in order to easy select it or definitely we can go to the outliner with button and select objects from here but uh, yeah okay so let's create a, another sphere awesome so I will create a torus and the sphere with two objects and uh, I will select it okay so I will move towards to it again under translation to a zero location and let's say in the middle of a grid. Awesome. So what we need to do next, I will try to play with a radius of the torus in order to have that torus, let's say around this uh, ball because I want to create like a like a lump around our spaceships um, around our spaceship yeah and it's probably looking great maybe we can flatten the lamp but we will do probably it later or let's try to do it right now how it will look look great so our 0.7 okay so we can select both objects go to the edit and group and now we have this objects group it and we can move them both at once so if we will select a group we will move as a group if we will select object we will move as an object great so we will unhide it everything or let's say Unisolated because my has feature to hide it. So you can go to a control hide and you will hide it and shift. Oops, and I don't remember how to unhide it. <laughs> okay, so what we will do next, we will select this group and we will scale it to point 0.1 probably. And uh, in order to place on the objects, we have one issue. We cannot see the wireframe. So let's press this button in order to see the wireframe. We have a wireframe on which we want to set this lamp. So basically I want to set in the middle of this torus and this object to be from this, let's say, on all of this area from top highlighted area to bottom highlighted area great so what we can do we will select the group we will rotate it this object by 90 percent uh, 90 degree angle i will go to the w into a move tool i will select snap it and with a middle mouse click, I will snap it to the, uh, the torus area. And as you can see, it's looking great. At least 
I'm thinking it's looking great. So the next thing that our name it GRP for a group and it will be light or bulb or I don't know something like that. Great. We have it, but we have uh, our pivot, let's say, in the uh, in this group in the center and i want to place all these objects around around this shape so what we can do definitely first of all we don't need to forget that we selected snap thing so i will press again this button to unsnap and uh, i will press d button in order to go to the pivot mode and in the pivot mode you can move your pivot for example if i press d again as you can see translation access everything back normal but our object when we select it have pivot in here so if i will do rotation or something like that it will move from a pivot point great so what we need to do it's a spherical thing so it's a center in here so let's create a pivot in here let's move pivot in there great so i will press d button I will select uh, this button to snap it, or you can uh, use it. Uh, working as well. So I will press V and hold it, and with the middle mouse button, I will uh, set my pivot into the center. And right away, you can press V or something like that, or uh, D or R. Uh, in order to close that edit mode of the pivot awesome so what we will do next okay so we need to try to make this object or uh, duplicate a few times around this donut so in order to do that we can go select this object ctrl d for duplicate select the rotation tool and move it we can move it uh, and duplicate uh, that object uh, how many times we want but it will be hard to align it okay so what we can do in this situation i will try to divide it uh, as it's a spherical thing it's a 360 degree angle and we have uh, let's say related to divide uh, and we can divide 360 by 10 and uh, by 10 these lamps or something like that and place it on the object so let's go to the edit duplicate special and in here we can go under x y z in our case as you saw we can move it under y rotation no why it's stating y oh okay so x y z in here x y z yes so in under y we can move by let's say 30 minus 30 no minus 36 yeah and we will stay probably near to the grid okay so what we can do we can go and move that object by minus 36 angle on the y direction and how many times we counted 10 but we already have one object so we need to divide it by nine times and let's check this out what we will gain great we have that object shoot it around all of these objects but they are individual objects and to be honest i don't like it in most cases i'm going to instance so if you want to understand what the instance is uh, i have a separate video where it's explaining what is an instance so in short it's a main copy and the instance will have a master which can control all of them Okay, so let's do with instance. 
as you can see it's the same thing only we can go to for example face mode select the face and as you can see right now i've selected one and all this movement is copied to our let's say objects and it will be useful when we will try to add the colors to the to our asset okay so what's left in our uh this tutorial to create this gap or gap or i don't know if it's a uh, glass okay so to cover it we will create the uh, one more time sphere awesome let's make it bigger select the polygon line delete it i'll select it line in general and try to draw it like that and let's shrink it down a bit mm -hmm. something like that well, probably i want to scale it down like this something like this we will have some thing more let's say cartoony thing no no it's up to you definitely that's maybe it's looking better okay and that will be glass and uh, in most cases when i'm doing glass i need the uh, volume so i will select all the face and let's press shift extrude we will extrude gently inside maybe minus 0 0.05 awesome but as you can see the object is dark the black object so we need to go to image display and reverse the normals wonderful great so we created a spaceship in the next tutorial we will try to dress up or create a, some materials and try to make a render see ya